This is the time of the year when people make snowmen, if there is any snow. But if there's not, we can still draw a snowman, and we can paint it. I think it's going to be fun. Okay, start up near the top of the page and draw a circle for his head. About that big. All right, now a line from his head slanted out like that and like that. That's the start of his arms. Okay, line from there and line from there. All right, now from this line, draw a line that comes up about that far. You don't want to go all the way to his head because we've got to make his body in between his arms. Okay, like that. And then a curved line. And start here and make another snowball. Okay, then I'm going to make lines like this, like his hands or his arms are branches, and that's how his arms can stand out. Okay. Okay, now draw a line like this for the ground. Make it go right up to the fat snowman and jump over and start again. Okay, that gives us a little bit of place where we can put a little bit of background. How about a tree? Trees are they look like they're dead in the winter time if they're not pine because they don't have any leaves. And that's the kind we're going to make right now. Start like that, big fat line, and two other big fat lines like that. Now if you can make the letter Y, you can make a tree like this. And V. See, I just made two V's. And I keep making V's that come off of the little parts of the other V's. Now you can make this go out as far as you want to because it's a really easy way to make a tree. All right, squeeze some white paint on your palette unless you have a paint cup that has paint in it already. About that much. You can always get more but you don't want to put too much on and then not be able to use it all. Okay, hold your brush like a pencil like this and dab your white paint right inside the circle. That's his head. Hold it like a pencil and lean it on the table like you do when you're writing with a pencil. Now we can do this because there isn't any paint on the rest of the picture yet and so we won't be leaning our hand in wet paint. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other part of him, and I start right up there, and I'm just dabbing carefully. Just make little dabs, that's all you need to do. And I just keep holding it like a pencil, and keep resting your hand on the table as long as you don't have any paint that it would land in. You have a lot of control over your paint when you use little dabs like this. There's other ways to paint too, but this is how I'm showing you today. And you can take it slow. I'm just kind of speeding up a little bit because, well, because I want to show this to you and I want to see you have fun with it. And so I want to get it done. Okay, as soon as I finish up the bottom half of my snowman, then I'm going to start on this side up near the ground line and I'm going to hold my brush the same way I was when I was painting the snowman and I'm starting up near the ground line and working my way back down toward the bottom of the paper and this makes it so that I don't lean my hand in any paint either see like that and you notice that I go right up to the line where the snowman is, but I don't go over it because I want people to see that there's a snowman there. I don't want him to look like he just kind of grew up out of the snow, like a mountain or something. See, I can add more paint as I need it, so there's no real reason to pour myself a whole puddle of it. And there's no real reason to like take a lot because I'm afraid everybody else is going to get it and I won't have any. And then just keep doing the little dabs like this, little strokes. Alright, this is what it looks like after the ground is finished. And 
you need to let your paint dry before you do the next part and it is dry. I'm going to give him a hat. I'm using a black crayon or oil pastel and first I make a line across like that and then I make a line up and a line up like that and then I go across and I'm going to color it in. Now if you want to, you don't have to leave it flat on top. You can take a line like that and then you can color it in then it has a round top. Or you can make the brim bigger if you want to. And then I'm going to draw his face in. It's a real simple face. Now if you want to try other facial expressions you can. Okay. Now I'm going to choose the color for his jacket. And I'm going to choose red. Now, see how much red I'm putting on my palette? Not much. See that? Okay, now you remember that so that we don't waste any paint. And my brush is clean though. I've washed it. I don't have any more white paint in it. And since the bottom of the snowman is dry, I can lean my hand. Now, if it was still wet, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to find another place or another way to turn it if I still wanted to paint it when it's wet and paint it the same way. Hold your brush like a pencil and make little dabs. It will give you more control that way. And go all the way over and paint in. I'm painting in the top of the jacket and both arms first and then I'm going to go down and paint the front of the jacket. You can choose your own color for this. Okay, now I'm just finishing up the hem of the jacket, too. I'm going to put buttons on, but I'm going to wait till it's dry. All right, now I want to put a band or some decoration on, on his hat with paint. And so I turned it upside down because my jacket's still wet, but the paper on, above his head is dry. And then I can paint this without getting my hand in paint. And so now I have a snowman with a red band on this hat, but you can put other things on the hat too. Use your imagination. Alright, now his coat is finally dry, so I'm using my black crayon or oil pastel to make buttons. Now this is just what I call a skeleton project, and that means that I give you certain things to do so that you learn certain things, but then it's up to you to flesh out the skeleton. And by this, I mean that I'm expecting you to use your own ideas in here. What else could you put in this picture? What do you think would be there? You can put other things in the picture. You can even decorate his jacket more once it's dry. Or maybe add some mittens. And you can either use crayon or paint. But if you decide to use paint, make sure that you hold your brush the way that I told you. Don't leave it in any wet paint and wash it when you need to and only use a little bit of paint at a time. Well, let's see what kind of fun we can have with this now. Now it's going to come alive with your own ideas.